everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Jenna and Maddie's Coffee Break. I'm Maddie. I'm Jenna. And today we are going to be talking about Dazai and Chuya from the anime Bungo Stray Dogs. Um, yes. So uh, kind of a trigger warning for those of you who are not familiar with Bungo Stray Dogs. Um, there's potential talks of unaliving um, and violence. So if that makes you uncomfortable, skip this episode. Um, for those of you who have seen the show and are fans, you will know exactly what we're talking about. So let's yes. get into it. <laughs> let's start with Dazai. Right. Okay. So you can't even talk about Bungo Stray Dogs without giving that trigger warning for Dazai himself alone. The end. Exactly. Um, so as you know, Dazai's constantly trying to unalive himself. Um, but he has a lot of energy and I don't know if it comes from like inside or if he's highly caffeinated. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I think it just comes from inside. Um, I think when he does drink coffee, he's drinking it socially. Um, so like they have the cafe at the bottom of the armed detective agency building. Um, and so when he has a meeting or feels it necessary to annoy the crud out of Kunikita, um, he is there, um, drinking something hot. I don't foresee him being much of an iced coffee dude. Um, but he, you know, will order either something simple or he'll ask the very pretty barista what she recommends and then flatter her and ask her if she would be willing to unalive herself with him after he drinks said coffee. So it's more of like he orders it not for his own preference, but more of like a pickup tactic. Like he's trying to flirt. So he's like, ah, I'm going to order this coffee and see what she likes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, and you have you have Kunikita next to him who's like pouring sugar in his coffee. Like, ah, trying to <sighs> Yeah, exactly. Um, or he's just has his nose stuck in his ideals book and is just ignoring whatever nonsense is coming out of Dazai's mouth. It's the only way to deal with him. Um, but speaking of people who have to deal with him, <laughs> poor sweet, sweet, I'm gonna call him sweet because he's baby boy. <laughs> Chuya. I just love Chuya. I know he's, you know, a Port Mafia executive and, you know, the violent god or whatever you want to call it but he's baby girl <laughs> um he for sure has liquor in his in his coffee cup all the time all the time absolutely absolutely especially yep. dealing with dazai yes it's like that scene in uh the movie elf where uh buddy dumps the alcohol into his coffee i mean it's unknowing but in Shuya's case, that's, like, what he's doing on a daily basis. A straight-up flask filled with, like, like whiskey or something that he's just, like... Right. Oh, Kahlua, oh. Bailey's, like, he... It, it, it's, it's too much. Like, he needs to pick me up, but also, like, this is his only way to deal with whatever Dazai encounter he has to deal with that day. Right. But, like, to be fair, he does deal with a lot of crap. You know, being a port exe port mafia executive, like on a on a daily, even if he's not seeing Daza, he's dealing with a lot of crap. That's true. That's very but true. More often than not, Daza is going to make himself known. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's true. You know, Chuya has got a lot going on. He has so he has a lot to deal with. He has Mori to deal with, and that's probably enough to drink constantly anyway. Right. It's he, you know, he's always with his uh his wine, but like that's his coffee. He's got like a thermos and they're like, oh yeah, what are you drinking? And it's just like straight Kahlua. Right. Yeah. Like, he doesn't even drink coffee. It's just no. Liquor. No, it's one of those things where it's like, Chuya, why don't you have a little bit of coffee with your liquor? Like it's not even <laughs> he's and he's definitely not ordering coffee. Like he's he's not going to the cafe or whatever. He's it's from home. Or from the Port Mafia, like, break room. I don't know if they have a break room. I just assume that it's, like, a normal office where there is a break room. <laughs> uh, they have, like, like cheap, like, like coffee that they bought at the wholesale market. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and oh so, he because he, uh, Chuya doesn't need um, anything fancy because he's just going to dump alcohol 
into it. Right. He like straight up smells like the alcohol too. They're like, we haven't even <laughs> seen Dean Chuya like go get coffee. And it's like, he's been drinking it for hours. It's, it's not, he didn't go up. It is not coffee. Right. Absolutely. Especially then, when uh, he has to deal with Dazai when Dazai, you know, yeah. shows up. <laughs> yeah. When they have to use their double black as adults. He's like double black coffee. <laughs> See what you did there. Ah. Oh. That's what Dazai would say. And then that's what Dazai would say. And then Chuya would just be like. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And Dazai would make a double black coffee joke. A hundred percent. Yeah. Like constantly. I feel though, like if Chuya has to use corruption, like if they're doing, you know, mission together, then he probably does want caffeine afterwards. It might pick, give him a pick me up after corruption. Right. Yes, and then depending on the situation, whether Dazai leaves him behind or not, will depend Which on... Which is a crack, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it depends on what he puts in it. So if, you know, he uses corruption and he wakes up, I feel like if Dazai didn't leave him, you know, abandoned in a field or a forest, um, <laughs> then As maybe... Right, then he'll just drink coffee for the pick-me-up. Um, again, he's not a fancy coffee dude. You know, I, but I feel like he has refined taste, now that I think about it, because he's very specific about his wine, but maybe that just has to do with the alcohol and not the coffee. Right, like his his know. refined senses are specifically um, channeled towards wine and like vineyards and stuff like that. Well, when it comes and, to coffee, he's like, mm-hmm. hey, meh. Yeah, his knowledge of being picky and, um, you know, wanting very specific things is wine and puppies puppies he does <laughs> does i mean uh, they just please give him a puppy at this point like this is gonna be me going on a tangent about how why can't you just have a puppy <laughs> <laughs> all he wants is a puppy well no no manga spoilers here Christ. Uh, yeah um yeah but anyway. now what if they if he uses you know you said that he would if he wakes up alone in a field somewhere, you know. But now what if he wakes up post-corruption and Dazai actually wasn't a jerk and stayed with him? Do you think that that would change his coffee order? Well, I'm saying he wouldn't put the alcohol in it. That's what I was, that, that's what, oh, I, that's well, what I meant. So if, like, he, he's annoyed, like, is, like if, he, if he's annoyed with Dazai, then that's where the liquor comes in. Um, but in the off chance that Dazai does the right thing and the nice thing, then he doesn't need the alcohol. He just needs to pick me up. Right. But the off chance, you know, you know, like Dazai is not a good dude. <laughs> no, but then he we has love moments, him. But then he has moments like Dead Apple, where he's like, "I knew you'd come for me, Chuya. Ooh, come here!" And then, like, you never know what you're gonna get from him. No, yeah, I mean, we love Dazai so much, but again, he's, you know, not the greatest person. Um, it, it's it's definitely. Um, I think that I'm, I've realized that we love Dazai because we relate to Chuya. Like, how can you? How can we love Dazai when he's just so problematic? But it's like, that's, oh. that's what Chuya says too. Right? Yeah, absolutely. But they both need caffeine, honestly. Like, well, yeah, I don't think da- ca- I was gonna say Chuya needs it, but I don't think Dazai needs it. Um, I think he's, again, like I said, I think he's just a social coffee drinker. Um, and then he's down there, you know, flattering the barista, you know, what do you think, beautiful? What do you, what do you think I should drink? And then she, you know, gives it to him, but she's like, and then she asks the question, you know, have you taken out life insurance policy because you still haven't paid your bill? Like, (laughs) she doesn't even give him anything fancy. Like, sorry, he like doesn't. She she like tells him what she thinks is good, but doesn't actually bring it to him because the good fancy coffee would cost extra. And that's just right. more money that Daza is not going to pay. The more cafe. debt he's going to pay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, his tab is just going higher and higher. Right. So I also think maybe he drinks whatever Kunikita orders just to be a jerk. It's very similar to, you know, how we said Gojo and Nanami would behave. Like, you know, Gojo would maybe swipe something from Nanami just right. to be a jerk. And Dazai has that energy, too, just to annoy 
just to annoy Kunikita. Like, what's on? What's he got over there? I don't even drink that. I'll I'll take it. Yeah, exactly. Or bring me mine first, kind of a thing. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Dazai does have that same energy. You're totally right. I'm just picturing like Dazai and Shuya, fifteen, drinking coffee. Like they're teenagers and totally like shouldn't be drinking alcohol, uh, caffeine yet. They also shouldn't be the mafia. So I mean, anything. Goes I mean, in this world. yeah. Right. Right. But I'll let them have coffee. Right. And then you know the whole like wives' tale where like caffeine stunts your growth. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, Chuya never grew. He didn't grow very tall because he didn't drink his milk and he drank too much coffee as a teenager. <laughs> and like, and the, it, it's a continuous thing that Dazai says to him, like, since they were 15, like, it's because you drank too much coffee. You mm -hmm. should drink some milk. You need to drink more <laughs> milk and you'll get taller. I'm only 15. I'm still growing. Aw, poor Chuya. He gaslit himself. He did. he did. He just, he's in, it's, it's called denial. It's denial. Yeah, it happens. Well, we're I mean, the same height, like canonically the same height as Chuya. So I was going to say, we, we all do it. I thought I was going to be tall because my feet grew pretty fast and I'm not tall. So, you know, we're all a little bit like Chuya. <laughs> so, that's why Chuya doesn't really drink coffee as much now that he's older because he's like, it made me short. And he blames his height. <laughs> That's so funny, please. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he, blames, he blames his uh his stunted growth on coffee. Meanwhile, he's just he's just small. He's just small. He's yep. just small. He's tiny but mighty. Tiny boy. Sweet yep. boy. Sweet boy. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. I've only had him for a day and a half. Right. But if anything happens to him, no, we've had him longer than a day and a half. Yes. Yes. So I think that that sums them up, right? Yeah, I think so. I think I think we touched on everything. Um, Dazai, the social chaotic coffee drinker, Chuya, the I need to deal with a lot coffee drinker. Right, that's how he gets through his his days: alcohol mm -hmm. and caffeine. Yes, that's how we all are, though. Honestly, no, this is alcohol free. I promise. I swear, it's cold, bro. <laughs> yep. All right. Cool. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, and we will see you next time. <laughs>